Have you ever used copyrighted music in your YouTube videos and got a copyright claim from YouTube? Did you know that you can swap the audio or remove it to get the claim removed? In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap the audio on one of my YouTube videos that received a copyright claim from YouTube so I can remove it. My name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Here's an old video that received a copyright claim because I used copyrighted content in the video. It says ads might appear on your video, copyrighted content was found in your video, the claimant is allowing their content to be used in your YouTube video, however ads might appear on it. So there's no viewing restrictions, it's monetized by the claimant so I don't get the money for the ads, and if I agree with these conditions I don't have to do anything. So here's the content, here's the claimant, here's the policy, it's monetized by the copyright owner. I can remove the song, I can file a dispute, or I can swap the audio out. I'll show how to do this later. How do you view the content ID claims of all the videos on your YouTube channel? Click on your profile icon, click Create a Studio, click the Video Manager drop-down, click Copyright Notices, and here you'll see all the copyright notices for your YouTube channel. If I hover over the C, it says copyright claim and it says includes copyright content. So what does a content ID claim mean? According to YouTube, if you upload a video that contains copyright protected material, you could end up with a content ID claim. These claims are issued by companies that own the music, movies, TV shows, video games, or other copyrighted protected material. Content owners can set content ID to block material from YouTube when a claim is made, they can also allow the video to remain live on YouTube with ads. In those cases, the advertising revenue goes to the copyright owners of the claim content. How does a content ID claim affect your video? It's not necessarily a bad thing because copyright owners can decide if you can use the music or not and then run ads on it so they get paid for the ads. It just means that you miss out on the revenue generated from the ads on the copyrighted music. The ads may play before the video or during the video as long as the video is not longer than 10 minutes. If copyright owners don't want their copyrighted material used, they have three options. Number one, they can block a video. This means your viewers won't be able to watch it. Number two, muting a video. This means your viewers will still be able to watch the video, but won't be able to hear the music track. Number three, block certain platforms. Copyright owners can choose to restrict where the content will appear, such as on apps or websites. These restrictions don't change the availability of your video on YouTube. So what can you do about a copyright claim on your video? Number one, do nothing. If you agree with the claim, you can just move on and leave the video as is. You can always change your mind later if you would disagree with the claim. Number two, remove the music. If you get a claim for a piece of music that you use in your video, you can actually get the claim removed without editing or removing the video. Number three, share the revenue. If you're a member of the YouTube Partner Program, and you've included copyrighted music in the background of your video, you may be able to share the revenue with the copyright owner. Number four, dispute the claim. If you have the required rights to use the copyright protected content in your video, you can dispute the claim. Number five, swap the audio. If you receive the copyright claim for the background music that you used in your video, you can swap the audio out by using one of the free songs on YouTube. Here are the steps to swap the audio on your YouTube video. To view your copyright notices, go to your Creator Studio and look under Video Manager. Click on Copyright Notices. Select the video that you wish to swap the audio for. Click the drop down, click Audio. It says your video has copyrighted audio that may affect its availability or result in ads being shown. While no action is required, if you wish to edit your video to address this, then you can attempt to remove the Content ID Claim song below or overlay a new audio right. So I can remove the song or I can swap the audio track. Here it's got featured tracks, ad free and eligible for monetization. After I've replaced the music track, I can save it as a new video or I can just save the video in place, which means that the audio will just be swapped. This means it won't affect the stats, comments and rankings. So you can also search all tracks, 150,000 in total. So I click on the search, I can click this box, only show songs of a similar length in this video. So let's check uh, La La La. Let's check On My Way Home. I'm going to select Country and Folk, select As We Go. Let's 
It sounds pretty good. I'm going to use that one. Under here it's got As We Go. These are all ad free and eligible for monetization. You can just click Position Audio. Then you can just drag the bar to where you want the audio to begin and where you want it to end. You can also adjust the volume. So you can do it louder or you can do it real quiet in the background. So I just want to do it uh, quiet in the background. I want my music to be uh, throughout the video, so just put it throughout the video. When I'm done, I'll just click Done Positioning. After you're happy with the audio that you've swapped with the original audio, click Save Video in Place. You also have the option to save it as a new video or to revert to the original. In this case, I'm going to select Save Video in Place. You'll get a pop-up saying this might take a while. While edits are processed, users will continue to see the current version of your video. And click save. Now you notice that my video edits are still in progress. When Once that's completed, that notice will disappear and the original audio will be replaced with the audio that I swapped. After the video has finished processing, this message will disappear and the audio that I swapped with the original audio will be in the actual video. When you save your edited video in place, you don't lose the views, comments and rankings of the original video. This video will no longer appear under copyright notices and I'll be able to receive ad revenue from this video because I'm using free audio from YouTube. Now you know how to swap the audio on the YouTube video that's received a copyright notice. Here are three alternatives if you don't want to swap the audio. Number one, leave the video as is so the revenue will go to the copyright holder. The downside of this is that you won't receive any ad revenue for the lifetime of the video that's on your channel. Number two, you can remove the music. This means you don't have to edit or re-upload the video. Just keep in mind that this only applies to videos that are under two hours. Number three, you can share the revenue as long as you belong to the YouTube Partner Program. This means you share the revenue that comes from ads between yourself and the copyright owner. If you want to trim or add special effects to an existing video on YouTube and don't want to lose the views, comments and rankings, click the card icon. You'll be able to improve the quality of your existing video on YouTube. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads and sales on autopilot, click the round subscribe button below and check out the related videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.